It is always a party here on LBV TV and definitely here on the Norwegian Encore. Our slogan is never dull moment and always a party. But man, they really put up a party in Alaska here. This is crazy. Not only is there live music, there is a slide that goes off the edge of the ship. Yes, amazing bars as well as incredible laser tag go-karting. All right, let's see all the shenanigans and crazy stuff going on here at Norwegian. All right, this is the ocean loop that Chris is gonna do later. Oh my God, Chris, you're nuts, you're nuts. Holy moly. By the way, people have gotten stuck on this. Yes, we saw it happen. This is the raft slide behind me, not the one that goes off the side of the deck, but I would say that's more my speed if I was gonna do one. It's amazing, and there's never really lines. They go really quick, which is great. It's not like Typhoon Lagoon, as you've seen in our other vlogs, where it's like, oh my gosh, 30 minute wait for a line for a slide. It's actually really easy. And there's even live music. How fun. The Norwegian Encore Speedway. Oh, here they come. Oh, how fun is this? Oh my goodness, how cool. Let me know, would you do this? I think I could handle it. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, speeding while cruising, that's like double the speed. Now, as we get a better view of the go-karts and them going, we are going to check out the laser tag. It looks like a terrifying Greek mythological zombie apocalypse, you'll see. Here, we're entering the ancient ruins, and laser tag is at different hours, but wait till you see how cool this is. Oh my God, it's like a haunted mansion. Oh, this is scary. I feel like a zombie's gonna walk out and get me. What a cool view, by the way. Come and check out the ship and this view. All right, let's go get into trouble. Oh my God. Oh, I don't like snakes. I don't like snakes. I don't like the snakes. Wow, how, oh, that's him. How cool. Oh my goodness. This is wild. What a cool photo op. Be like, hey, I was on the Norwegian cruise line ship and a serpent got me. Definitely this is, um, I'm guessing, a storyline based off of the famous um, Minotaur. I see the bull and all the other cool stuff. Look at this guy. Ooh, I was wrong. The story is the story of Atlantis. You end up going to the bottom of the sea, don't worry, not with the ship, in a cool contraption and you discover Atlantis. There is lots of fun stuff to do. We're gonna see how many fun things we can do in a small window of time, and there is a lot. Chris, are you ready? And this is the Galaxy Pavilion. It is a virtual reality world. I feel like we're going into like Star Wars right now. Wait till you see the crazy things you can do. There are tons of crazy cool things to do in here. Oh my goodness, check this out. Again, you can go be chased in Jurassic Park, virtual reality style. You can become a race car driver right over here. How cool, again, this is all virtual reality. It's like your own little virtual Disney World. Who remembers Disney Quest? Let me know in the comments. You can be Superman and be flying. You can even watch what people are seeing. But this looks terrifying, count me out. All right, this is not always free, so heads up. There is a package you can buy um, that gets you, again, different options for different games and more, and also safety requirements. So yes, this is not totally free, but some of it's actually pretty well priced. Another fun photo op is the backdrop of the Titanic as you're going through icebergs. You can take a, you can take a photo. Iceberg, right ahead. You can take a photo. All right, Chris. <laughs> I asked to make sure that this was the Titanic backdrop of all the backdrops. Oh my God, I'll never forget the time we were on a ship around icebergs with the Titanic backdrop. Oh my God, this is amazing. Guys, never a dull moment. <laughs> Poor choice of backdrop, but that's hysterical. I love it. You know what? I like it. I like a good laugh. Well done, Norwegian. You know, I thought Disney Photo Pass was creative, but I think Norwegian wins. <laughs> Let me know in the comments how amazing. Now, also, they sell things on the ship 
So say you need something that you forgot. One great thing, honestly, they have everything. I wasn't allowed to bring my backpacks on the different excursions, and so I had to buy a bag. It was great. And then it started raining. Luckily, I did bring a raincoat, but they have reversible rain jackets with fleece. Say you lose your mittens, your scarves, anything, you name it, they got it. So we are doing signature dining tonight, and we are choosing Los Lobos. We heard it's some of the best Mexican food you will ever have. So you choose from the other side, Cagney Steakhouse, by going to the right. But we don't eat a lot of steak, and you can't go wrong with the A-list bar. I mean, it is A-list. Look how fancy. It's very nice. But uh, but yeah, we heard the Mexican restaurant is actually worth doing. One of the best Mexican restaurants our friends who love Mexican have ever had, as well as friends who know Mexican food. And of course, Steakhouse, you can't go wrong with Steakhouse. It looks awesome over there too. Here, I'll show you a glimpse of that. Here's Cagney's Steakhouse and it's packed. Oh, you can see them getting everything out. And again, it is fine dining. Think uh, the palm. Speaking of how beautiful this room is, but Chris, we got some VIP treatment. Look at this view outside. That is the back of the boat. And we're gonna be eating here so we can watch for whales. How gorgeous. Again, what a beautiful room, beautiful decor. And none of the restaurants are super packed. All right, so we're getting table side made guacamole. Oh my gosh, my favorite. So we were able to pick what we get in it, which is awesome. Let me know in the comments, do you love guacamole as much as I do? Oh my goodness. Maria's choice guacamole. Chris, let me pick what was in it. So here in the back of the boat where we're seated, we were told that is where whales like to kind of jump in the wake and play. All right, so we're gonna have to keep an eye out. Chris, how cool would that be? It'd be amazing. Mexican food and whales. We got the queso fundito, which is chorizo and cheese, melted cheese, which is amazing. And then we got the chicken and cheese quesadillas, mm -hmm. which Maria is liking so much she can't even speak. Sorry, I was like, Chris, you tape that. I gotta tape because Maria is eating mm -hmm. all of it. It's amazing. It's very, very so good, guys. Good. Very good. Here we have the Vera Cruz style red snapper. And it looks amazing with the olive and the tapenade and the salsa. And Chris has the chili relleno. Chris, cut into it. Is that going to be all cheese that comes out? It's going to be all cheese. All cheese? Look at that cheese. Oh my gosh. I already got excited and started eating the slow roasted pork, salsa verde enchilada. That's absolutely incredible. And then there's, the, again, I don't know how we're going to eat all this. But it's free. It's part of the package. But really, you get your bang for your buck. I think we spent easily, I think, 150 on food. And you get definitely your bang for your buck with the dining package. All right, so I would say the Mexican restaurant is probably the most affordable out of pocket. And we still save $50 versus the dining package versus just um, buying a la carte. But if you go to like the French Bistro or Cagney's, oh my goodness, easily you're gonna save hundreds of dollars with the dining package. With the two appetizers you get, with the single entree, and then the desserts, and the drinks that are free, oh my goodness. So again, this is a signature dining experience and they offer a dining package for it. Think of like Disney with the Disney dining plan. Similar concept, those higher end restaurants, this is one of them. But definitely you could get your really bang for your buck with those really, really fancy ones. Again, we still save though, even at the Mexican restaurant. We're so excited about dessert and it looks so good that we forgot to tape it before we started eating it. I'm so sorry. Chris, how good was that? How Ice cream good? was amazing. It is a coconut avocado ice cream. Absolutely that incredible. Was very, very good. The chocolate flan was actually not chocolate. It was flan with a chocolate. And it was like brownie batter at the bottom. But the flan was delicious. And these were good. They reminded me of the fried dough that you get, like the bear paw, um, the Canadian and Alaskan fried dough with the syrups. But I don't know. I think these two were better if you had to pick from the two. And this one definitely is the best actually dessert we've had on the ship. Now you're probably like, what avocado ice cream, Maria? I just thought it was the most interesting, the most creative. Also healthy, light, different. Next is deal or no deal. Yes, they're really popular. So literally people are picking briefcases from numbers and winning money right now. I think, I think you had to pay to get into it, but not much. 
Mommy's in here. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so it sounds like it was only like $15 for two yeah. cards, almost like bingo. And if your briefcase was opened, you got money. Um, you didn't win huge, crazy big, but again, it was more for fun and people literally picking out, like, you know. Next is the Beatles show here at the Encore Theater. If you're a Beatles fan, that was fun, but it is, like, very medium key. Like, if you're not looking for anything too crazy, that's a great show. It's like a Broadway show, but with the Beatles. But I think I'm gonna get my country line dancing on. Yes, they have a class. I've never done it before. Let's see how bad I am. All right, so it is a country line dancing one. class. All right, here. One, two, and three. 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 Two, I feel like I'm gonna look like the girl who doesn't know what she's doing. I don't even know if there's room for me. <laughs> Everybody looks like professional. I'm gonna do from here. Producer Ashley's gonna hold the camera. There's not really room, so. And the local bar and grill here is open late into the evening for your fare that you might want. And then you can also check out bands playing and they change about every 30 minutes. All right, so I might wait for DJ Viper. Yes, there is a guy named DJ Viper who has a nightclub here. And we're gonna wait to dance there because the country line dancing was packed and I was really bad. But you have the option to go to the casino. Now let me know, I, I'm not a good gambler, but uh, I don't know, I, I feel I'm a little lucky. So they have slots as well as table games, and you can even be a part of the Players Club. Again, there is tons of things to do here. And this is the Malt Whiskey Bar. It sounds crazy. Chris sounds crazy. And then here is the Cavern Club. Let's see what's going on in there. There is karaoke. Look, even kids are getting in on the action. A baby singer. A baby karaoke. Family karaoke night. All right, we're here early for DJ Viper. But Chris, that was fun to have your own, right? Your own DJ. And this is one of the signature dining restaurants, Le Bistro. Very fancy with amazing views. So one of the many fun things you can do here on the Norwegian Encore is the cellars, which is a Mondavi wine tasting experience. And oh my goodness, you can even get a Louis Remy Martin tasting experience holy moly all I know is that's really fancy and expensive you also get special guests that are celebrity chefs and more sommeliers to tell you about the wine and this looks really neat Wow and the whiskey bar is always hopping the moment it opens it is always packed honestly this might be one of the most popular bars on the ship am I kidding it is very popular we'll have Crisco and try it out one of the signature dining experiences is ocean blue and look how beautiful this is it is a very small room so this one does book up but it has amazing amazing food they even have a tasting with a bar menu where the cart comes to you you can even sit outside on nice days and get incredible views of the ocean or sit by the window this place is known for their seafood and the menu changes with the season and what is in season fish wise again with the signature dining package it's a steal Otherwise, this restaurant can go up to $200 for a couple. On deck eight, a very
very hidden gem that I love. It's the bake shop. Again, it's a really hidden nook and cranny over in the corner by the signature dining. It's really easy to miss. It's even by the bathrooms. It is so good. Wait till you see. They have some of the best chocolates here and cupcakes and more, but the chocolates, these are actually handcrafted by a guy named Norman Love based out of Naples. He's a chocolatier and they are so good. I've had them before. They're very expensive, but boy are they good. I've never seen them outside of Naples, Florida. Um, and wait till you see the flavors. There's Sicilian pistachio. Ooh, 80% something I can't pronounce. Chocolate bomb is a spicy dark chocolate, the dolce de leche, and one of my favorite is the Florida orange, and the key lime, the coconut, the strawberry, they're so good, they're very expensive, but delicious. And then if you're a macaron fan, a violet flavored one, passion fruit, boy, these are expensive, but let me tell you guys, they are so good. Again, these do not come with your package, but they're very, very delicious. And even the cupcakes, a raspberry cupcake, pistachio, mocha cream, carrot cake, and red velvet. Even if you're not staying in the Haven, there is their own kind of version of it here at the Observation Lounge. Again, remember that this ship is built for Alaska, so every view is a great view. Chris, show us our room. We're on this side of the boat. How cool, just to give you an idea again of what the ship is like. And like I said, there's no bad view. And again, it is really great that a lot of these have canopy style. So even in bad weather, you can still sit out on the deck and enjoy yourself. And look at the go-karts. Again, there's laser tag. Yeah, that's the crazy thing over there. How wild is that? But again, there is so much to see and do. But again, no bad view. A lot of people use this observation lounge as like a hangout place. You can check out for whales. People come here and do work. And this goes the whole boat. So what's really great is again, you have views for all the people here on the boat. Also they have snacks all day here. And they're really good. Ooh, we have quiche and then baked focaccia, a pretzel baguette with roast beef. Again, this is just the snacks. This isn't even a meal. And wait till you see the dessert. From a green tea cheesecake to a mini chocolate cupcake, cranberry scones. Again, this is just the snacks. They even have love seats, Chris. So you and your honey, look, two people can fit in these. How cute, oh I love that. We also see a lot of families hang out and kind of take spots in here and spend the day because one of the best bars in the whole place is right here in the observation lounge this is actually our go-to bar other than the haven and say you didn't want to do the haven again this view is amazing now do remember you have to fight the other 4,000 people on the ship but as you can see right now somebody's getting up all the time again great seats honestly Everybody's got a great view in the house. There's even live music. And now we're about to go into Food Republic. This is Food Republic, and it's got awesome views. A hidden gem a lot of people don't think of to come to. There's even a sushi bar and more. So this is an Asian fusion. You have tuna pizza, firecracker shrimp, pork belly bao, which was amazing. The Thai lettuce chicken wraps. So good. And the sushi was fantastic and fresh. The Grill Republic has awesome skewers, including a black cod skewer that was absolutely amazing. Again, this place is kind of off the beaten path and a lot of people again miss this. Sugar Pump. The Liege Waffle is awesome. And again, I think this is one of the best hidden gems on the ship for Asian fusion and views. As you can see, even these are retractable. So if you have a nice day, these might be open. You can see outside, and it's absolutely incredible. We've actually seen a whale from here. Across from Food Republic is District Brewhouse. And again, you can take your brews out to the waterfront viewing, and this place seems to always be hopping. So they have a ton of high quality beers on tap. Again, this is all free with your dining package if you do the included alcohol, and I recommend it. And just like Food Republic, there's really cool views for seating and enjoying a brew. And again, those above 
ceiling openings really bring light and really make this feel super open. And then come here to get your photo booth. That's right, it isn't free unfortunately, but grab your pictures and then join on the wall of fun here. Chris is getting his photo right now. Oh, smile Chris. Even here has food too late at night. So say you want crispy salmon, actually really good foods. As you can see, firecracker, shrimp, there's a lot. And a ton of options here on the menu. I got the strawberry beer and it was amazing. This is Onda by Scarpetta, one of the signature fine dining options. And it is fancy. Now, it's a very fancy brand too. Um, but look how gorgeous. Again, each room looks totally different and unique. And you may be wondering, what do I have to dress like? Well, you can look like this lumberjack, even for these. As long as you're wearing long pants, because you'll see it's Alaska. A lot of people are cold. If this was a Bahamian trip, a maybe different. different. But for Alaska, just long pants are long needed. Long pants and a shirt. And as long as you look like you put some clothes on, girls, you're fine. It's Alaska. Because this is such fine dining, I brought cocktail dresses. Nobody here is wearing cocktail dresses because it's cold in Alaska. But again, how gorgeous. Check out the views. Amazing. So again, on great weather, another awesome view. Let's see if we can Now, this is the menu here at Onda by Scarpetta on the Norwegian Encore. And you can get pizza that's fancy <laughs> or yellowtail crudo. Ooh. Insalata de Mercato, Frito Misto. So again, it is a inspired Italian uh, restaurant, braised octopus, spaghetti ravioli, Scottish salmon, bronzino. All of this sounds delicious. So this is us traversing over days, seeing all these restaurants. After you've seen this vlog, which restaurant from ambiance to dining looks most delectable to you? or that you'd want to try the most. You're gonna laugh at probably what our answer is. The Mexican restaurant with that back end view of the boat was amazing. Not all the restaurants have that, but the Mexican one does and the food was incredible. Honestly, some of the best Mexican food I've ever had. Well done, Norwegian. Chris, it's packed again. I've walked by this so many times today just for you. I've also come every day just for you. And honestly, like I said, this might be the most popular, the wine, the, the whiskey tasting. Sorry, Chris. It's only 4 p.m. and look. I know. We'll get there one day. One, we, we've been trying for seven days. All right, Chris is drinking his sorrows of still, and we may not ever get to do that whiskey tasting. Again, you can also take it to go. You can. We wanted to sit at the bar. I want to sit at the bar, maybe yeah. in one of those leather chairs, to get the full experience it's all right, of the scotch though. We're going to keep trying, but that is actually the one bar we've not been able to get into. Um, we visited here the other night. There is usually room here and fun live music, as you saw. So the sugarcane mojito bar is very popular, but there's usually always some sort of room. Chris, today's backdrop is the haunted mansion wallpaper. Look, in Disney mansion. World, the haunt. Yesterday was Titanic. Now it's the haunted mansion wallpaper. But say you forgot your stuff, you can still go get binoculars here or even cameras. And a major tip for your cruise experience on the last days of the Black Friday sale. Like literally everything's like half off. Um, two for thirty. Uh, it's. Yes, it's a fire sale over here with all the merchandise I showed you the other day. So sometimes wait till the last day. Now one thing that a lot of vlogs don't tell you is what was the best dining. As we're walking through the casino, we're gonna take you to see some more free dining. But some of the free dining was amazing and rivaled some of the signature restaurants. So honestly, it's a win-win like these slot machines behind me. Now, I know this looks fancy, the Manhattan room here at Norwegian Encore cruise ship, because it is fancy. Come on over. But it's free, that's right, it is free with your dining bag. We got coconut shrimp, Italian meatballs, avocado, hummus, ooh. Again, all of this looks amazing. It's a lot of very similar menu items to what you get in the Haven, and it is free. I will say the Haven does have some of those more expensive fish, like wild salmon, or here you have tilapia, but still very fancy. Pecan crusted turkey medallions. Oh my goodness. Again, this is complimentary for whatever you pick in room 
and uh, with your dining package. How amazing, and check this out as we walk in. The beautiful giant ceiling here, the glass windows, and again, kind of like that Mexican restaurant where that back view, but it's so beautifully lit because of all the windows and this giant open air layout. Another major tip for the Norwegian Encore or any ship is even dining availability. You'll see what looks really packed, what doesn't, because sometimes you have to get reservations for the signature dining. How great is that? And you can just walk up and find out. You may remember this from the Country Line Dancing. It is the Texas Smokehouse. And they have a ton of awesome Texas food. A lot of that great pitmaster, amazing meats, you name it. Even chicken and seafood that is grilled. Ooh, how awesome. Fried okra, fried green tomatoes. Chris has loved the food here. He's come a couple times. Again, and it's also open late. During the dinner hours, this becomes a fun restaurant with a live country band. And uh, the band actually sometimes changes the theme of the kind of country you're gonna hear. One night was bluegrass. Oh, Chris is country line dancing. He's getting ready for round two of that country line dancing. Get it, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday I tried, I couldn't get a spot, Chris. I, oh, Chris, you're ready. Yeah, how are you so good at this? Chris, let me know in the comments who's the better dancer. I think it's my husband. And the most important thing, yes, there is a Starbucks with all the newest and best drinks that currently are out on the market. It's not one of those Starbucks that's kind of like a hole in the wall. You know what I'm talking about. They even got an oat milk foam. I don't even know what that is, but I'm excited to try it. Yeah, so again, they got all the stuff here in Starbucks and no line. There's no line, no mobile order necessary. This bar is always busy. So another major important fact for the perfect trip to Alaska, if you're looking for a quick, easy bar, this one might not be it. It's still just as good. They serve all the same things. And there is trivia, as you can tell, about to happen. There are game shows. There are fun things with live bands and more. Now it's Coco's. This is definitely my speed. Ooh, more Norman Love chocolates. All right, Chris, what looks good? So this does change daily. I actually have not seen some of these in the past. That's right, we come here every day. A Machu Picchu chocolate specialty, a frisson, I don't know what that is. If it looks good, it also tastes good in this case. That's not always true. And then they make specialty ice creams. Check this out. What do you think of the Norwegian Encore? Everything is absolutely amazing. You could live on this boat. The Norwegian cruise lines, all of their boats are incredible, but this one specifically is out of this world. And a big thank you for Magical Vacation Planner who recommended this boat and absolutely hands down, based on all the stories we've heard from others who've taken other ships to Alaska, this is by far the best. And also definitely the most encompassing for views, no matter what price range you're in. I don't know what this ship didn't have. There's a spa, there's a beauty salon, a barber shop. I think there's things we missed. And we're known for showing you the best tips and tricks for travel, no matter where the wilderness or the fun or magic takes you. I'm Mary with LBV TV. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button and notifications bell because we're going to do something else really exciting. Can't tell you what it is, but again, we're gonna show you more things. Check out our other vlogs too. They'll give you more of a rundown about Alaska, different variations of things to check out from the food, from the excursions, as well as, of course, other tips and tricks and other arenas that you might be interested in. Click on the link here below, Magical Vacation Planner. They know all the best tips and tricks for your budget, where you're going, and again, they always go above me. We've been using them for seven years. Absolutely amazing. Now here on our channel, we never say goodbye. We only say, see you real soon.